we meditate to give the mind something firm to hold on to. Otherwise it gets blown around. They make a comparison with the ways of the world and the winds of the world. There's gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These come from all eight directions. And if you don't have something to hold on to, something really firm to hold on to, you get blown around all the time. And you'll see what happens to things that get blown around in the wind like this. They get all torn to shreds. So you hold on to the breath, you hold on to the qualities of the mind in the present moment, and you realize that the winds of the world don't have to have any power over you. The image they give is of a stone pillar, 16, 16 spans tall. Eight spans are buried in the ground, which means that no matter how strong the winds come, the, the pillar is not going to be blown over. So you want to make sure that your mind is firmly planted like that. You've got something deep here inside. You've got your mindfulness, you've got your alertness. You want to make them really solid so you're not easily distracted. Because as soon as you're distracted, that's what pulls you away. So you've got your home base right here. This doesn't mean that you don't know what's going on outside. You do know it, simply that you're not setting out your sails to get blown around. You've got something really deep inside. So try to develop this quality of solidity in your practice. You learn from things outside, you listen, but you don't get blown around. That's what makes the important difference. <laughs>